Louisiana vs. All Y'all, Jared Roser here with rising senior edge rusher Ashley Williams Jr., a standout at Zachary High, the once again reigning Class 5A state champions. And uh, Ashley's a guy who just in the last three months has picked up more than 20 scholarship offers from, from colleges that are starting to take notice of his talent. And so thought it would be a great person to, to highlight and, and ask how the spring's been going. Uh, Ashley, what's been going on? Man? It's probably been a, a fun time over there uh, to, to hit, hit the road a little bit and uh, have some of these conversations with college coaches. It's been a great experience. Take me through, I mean, you went into junior season and you had the one offer, an FCS offer last summer, and and you play a part of that that defensive effort that helps the Broncos get back to a state championship. And then the end of January when Incarnate Word hit was kind of when the, you know, the gates really started to open and you started picking up offers left and right, including 14 in March alone. When did it start to hit you how fast this was all starting to unfold for you finally? Oh, uh, really? Well, I knew if I keep on grinding, keep on grinding, working out, and just and just reach my max potential, I knew that days like this would come. And but like I'll say, after a carnival, LA Tech and Minnesota, it just started going skyrocket after that. I told you a little bit too. I'd I'd watched some of the clips of you from being a sophomore and and you're I mean you were really tall already but you're 170 pounds at that point and so it's it's watching uh, a really skinny guy but with some quickness to you and so you could see there was something there. Uh you just had to kind of keep developing and when I talked to coach Brew I guess it was last August about you and asked you, you know, how, how special can this kid get? He said, yeah, he's got a chance. We just got to watch him keep, uh, keep getting there, keep, you know, chasing that chance for you from last summer to now. What was that? What is the, the difference that has, has brought you to this point where you're now a highly touted recruit and SEC schools are coming in and, and want to get you on their campus? Uh, I'll say really me producing myself as an athlete, as well as a student athlete, I'll say that. And, like, my work ethic got way better from my sophomore to my junior year and then my senior year that's coming up this year. Give me some examples when you talk about the work ethic and, and some of what you're doing. Um, what has, has that looked like for you in terms of, um, you know, whether you can give me a story about sort of the, the different attitude that you carry with it or different approach or some of what you're actually doing uh, in terms of weight room or – or drills and technique type stuff, anything that kind of stands out that you think is has really helped kind of push you to this next level? Right, my sophomore year. So I thought to myself, talked to my dad about it, and we just kept on working. And then he said, he said, you gotta keep on working to get what you want. So I just kept on working, protecting my, like this, doing what I do best, work out, and just, be better than everybody. Try my best to be better than everyone on the field. To bulk up from about 170 as a sophomore to 220 now, how much of that was you kind of starting to naturally fill out? How much of that was stuff you're doing with your diet? How much of that was weight room? Uh, really? Weight room do help with fit. Could make you stronger. Stronger make you bigger. And really, my appetite, I had to get a bigger appetite. I thought I really like that when I started seeing, like, all these four stars, five stars, that, like, 230 and, like, the 250 or 260. So, I, I know I – and I know I wanted offers. I wanted offers, like, really my whole life. So, I said to get that way, I get my weight up. I already have my height. I get my weight. So, so I get my weight up. Then everything already come how I want now. Do you remember the first time that you thought about the potential of playing college football or potentially even NFL football when, when that dream started to kind of, um, you know, pop into your head? I mean, really? Because my eighth grade, like I'll say, like from sixth grade to eighth grade, I was, wa I was watching college football. And like, I want, like, I want to be on TV, you know? So I was, I was looking at it. I, I didn't really got into it, but my ninth grade year, I was like, I want to play D1 college football. And I, like whatever it takes to get there, I want to do it. 
did you did you realize now that you're kind of seeing what it takes to be that type of a a recruit and and really even to be a high level player at a 5A school in Louisiana did 6th 7th 8th grade you realize what what type of a commitment that was going to take yeah i knew it was going to be like this. all you like it's nothing for me nothing but strictly football off season in season it doesn't matter it's strictly football working out but all I can say is paying off, to be honest. So I'm not really, really mad about it. And, I mean, you you played as an underclassman. You you hit some of the camp circuit last offseason. The the additional work and emphasis you put in to, to really get stronger and get bigger, when did you start to see some of the – those rewards pay off to, to everything that that you put into that was there some point during the season or did you get out to a camp at some point this uh this spring and, and it kind of clicked when did you realize all right you get kind of that um you know that that measuring stick moment or light bulb moment where you realize okay we're, we're getting there so really so whenever I was at camps Mississippi State LSU like, like all the known camps uh, college, like, recruiters started hitting me up. So, like, when I was thinking, because it could get me wrong, like, I, I, was, I was excited. I decided. And then I, like, I was thinking, like, I got to keep on working. So in my head, I'm like, I got to keep on working. And I could probably get those offers in. So, yeah, I just kept on, like, sticking with that mindset ever since, like, all the, all, like, all the college recruiters, the recruiting on campus, directors, all that just started hitting me up. What has the, I guess, the the reaction been like around around you, your family, school, the the football team to, to see some of this start to unfold? But I'm sure Coach Brew and company are also saying, okay, but keep keep going, keep keep this thing rolling. We're not there yet. So I gotta keep on working. And really, and really, we just got, yeah, to keep on working. And teammates are excited, as always. So, ain't nothing wrong there. And it's just, like, a lot of hype, you know, around me a little bit. But I ain't going to let that get in front of my work, my work if it, like, maybe think I'm better than everybody, you know. No doubt. When you were watching some of uh, the college ball that you mentioned that, that you started to realize that was something you'd want to do when you were, you know, middle school age, were there certain teams that you, I mean, being a Baton Rouge guy, were you watching LSU? Were there other teams that kind of stood out that that really kind of caught your attention uh, early on? Uh, yeah, I watched a lot of LSU ball, I'll say. I liked watching Oregon, uh, Ohio State, and Clemson, and Georgia also. Anything specific stand out about those that kind of – drew you to them obviously those are some of the, the top programs nationally but did did any other specific thing kind of catch your eye really like the atmosphere and like how they like design things and like how each team just like is just a whole bond you know yeah they're definitely I mean they're they're well-known kind of brands and cultures and, and all of those things and you've had a chance now to start getting out to, to more of these schools and, and visiting as a recruit. Um, you've, you've been to LSU's campus. You were on a big visit to Auburn recently. You've hit Florida state, Tulane, some of these, as, as you start to go visit as a college recruit, what has that process been like? What's it been like to kind of get behind the scenes a little bit, have some conversations with these college coaches um, and, and just start to kind of weigh what, what an eventual decision can look like for you. But uh, really, the college, like visiting, like like visiting the colleges, the colleges and all that, it's a good experience to me. Like I said earlier, and like when you get to, like when you talk to the coaches, have conversation with them, they build like a good relationship and a bond to like to like where you get to know them more, know more about them, and you can talk to them about yourself. Yeah. What are some of the things that you hear the most from colleges about? Um, either things that they they like about your game, things they hope to see you continue to to grow into, ways that you can fit there, um, any anything like that. What what are some of the things that you hear from the college coaches? Really, my grit. I'll say grit and uh, my length, height, and about the weight. 
that, like, because most of the college that offer me, they said that they go the way they don't either way go. So then, so that's like really like one of the last things they really worry about. Mm-hmm. Do they, do they view you, or does it? I guess in some cases it maybe just depend on the program and the scheme. Are a lot of colleges picturing you with with your hand in the turf, at, you know, as a, a defensive end up front, or they want you to to be standing up as more of an outside linebacker? Yeah, uh, it depends on the defense. Yeah, three four because some schools that offer me. They run three, four, so I'll be on the edge on a two point, and mm-hmm. so I'm on a four. My hand in dirt at times, but it really defense the skin. Does do you have a preference? Do you feel better, or more comfortable, like you're able to to be more effective one way or the other? Uh, in my opinion, I do like standing up. I'll say as an edge rusher, outside linebacker, you know, but that really doesn't matter to me. I just like playing football. No doubt. You've got a, a few visits already sc- scheduled for the summer. You're planning to hit Nebraska and Minnesota, who are two of those power fives uh, from up a little bit farther away from home who, who have offered. And so uh, looking forward to get a chance to get out there in, in June. What stood out about those couple that that made you know that, that you wanted to go check them out and see what they had to offer? Uh, really, relationship with the head coach of Minnesota, Coach, coach Flick, and and uh, the defensive line coach, Coach Brick Haley, me and him got an amazing combined. And with Nebraska, Coach Mickey Joseph had a good relationship with me and also my dad. They, there's Louisiana ties everywhere. I mean, all the you're mentioning a lot of guys who have they're either from Louisiana or coaching Louisiana or both. Uh, what's what's that been like to realize that? Almost no matter where you go, there's some sort of Louisiana guy waiting to, to try and tell you that's that's a place to be. I believe it, uh, like it's family, you know, like they're from Louisiana, I'm from Louisiana, so they're gonna try like help me out, you know. And then they would like most schools would want Louisiana's look like well, they they would want Louisiana kids more anyway because you, because they got it just it's, it's Louisiana, it's better here. You've uh you've started to hear a little bit from LSU too, who is again, I mean, right right down the road from you. And you mentioned as one of those first handful of programs that you were watching uh, a few years back. Who have been some of those coaches you've heard from? What has it been like to to hear from the hometown school and, and what have they had to say so far? Uh well, Coach Coach Hill and Coach Kane talked to me from time to time. And they said for the most part, they want me to come to, to a camp. And I believe, I believe so, that like if I do good in camp, then I could potentially get an offer from there. Mm-hmm. And that would be great. Get cut right down the road, you know. Yeah. You uh, So you think that'll be a place that you probably hit camp-wise at some point over the summer? Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, anything else about you and just kind of where you're at with, with some of the process um, that that you, you feel like is kind of uh, important to know, just kind of little updates about how you're, you're viewing things or, or trying to sort through stuff. Maybe uh, if certain aspects of the colleges are starting to stand out to you as, as priorities when it comes to be decision, decision time. Uh, really? Uh, me and my dad talked about it. My family, my mom also talked about it. We're probably going to make a top five, I would say, uh, in the middle of the season or at the end of the season. And I would com- I probably would commit at the end of the season or like whenever it's signing day. Yeah. So no, not a big rush to make the decision, but you want to kind of get it down to a core group before you head into to senior year. Like everything happening so fast, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what's going to happen today? Today, tonight, tomorrow, you don't know what's going to happen. So I just try to just keep calm and just wait patiently. No doubt. Well, if the next few months look anything like the past few months, uh, then it'll it'll be that much more excitement over there for you guys because it's been a fun couple months, I know, uh, to see some of those dreams start to become, uh, you know, real opportunities. And congratulations on that, certainly. And and thank you for, for sharing some of it with me, you know. Sure. No yeah. problem. Again, he's Ashley Williams getting ready for his senior year this fall for Zachary, uh, the the reigning class 5A champs. He's had a, a heck of a run of his 
development of, of his body and his game and also his recruitment as a result. And for Louisiana versus all y'all, Jarrett Roser.